Welcome back to Everett Barbecue. I'm Joe Everett. And today, we're gonna decide what the best pork rib binder is by three factors. Bark achieved, quickness that bark was achieved, and flavor and taste. And you know we're using my five favorite binders. Mustard. What? Worcester. What? Sriracha. What? Avocado oil. What? Nothing at all. What? What? Costco pork ribs, Sam's Club pork ribs, all kinds of pork ribs. It is so on G. We got all kinds of ribs up here. I'm cutting off the sides on these spares, trimming them into St. Louis. I removed the membranes off of all five of these racks, getting them all ready for Binder City, boy. Okay, this far one, nothing at all. Avocado's going on this one. I think we'll go with this far one as sriracha. Middle one, mustard. And final one, Worcestershire. Like any good rib should start. A little AP. Just what the doctor ordered. Yeah, this is just a conglomerate of all my barbecue rubs and beef rubs and everything put together because I don't want to cheat anybody here. But I'm going heavy on this stuff. I'm gonna get some oil on this guy. Get some mustard. And finally, Worcestershire or Worcester. Depends on who you ask about this fella. All right, let these hang out in the fridge and get Dyna fired up. You already know what the score is, team. Say it with me now. Four corners of hickory. One, two, three, four. And to that, we're gonna add these six chunks of cherry. I loves my hickory, but we're doing pork. Pork needs that cherry. Now to these wood chunks, I'm gonna add a nice bed of briquettes with a little bit of uh, royal oak rum. Hot cold going on. Okay, one last time before we put them in the cooker. Nothing at all has no toothpicks at all. One toothpick, as you can see right there, that's the avocado oil. Two toothpicks, I hope you can see right there closest to you, is uh, Worcester. Three toothpicks uh, on the left here. My side is old Mustard. And then four toothpicks, big and fancy, hot spicy sriracha. I see you, sriracha. Get you son. The old mustard. Two toothpicks. Hey, I just took some rub off there, didn't I? I can't fool YouTube. I ain't toothpick. I just put nothing at all by himself on the back end. I don't know how many pounds of ribs that is, but uh, I feel like I gotta work out. Holla at your boy. Okay, it's been two and a half hours. And I've been rotating these racks every 30 minutes, so I'm gonna give it a rotation and uh, might be ready to be spritzed. Yeah, I like the way these are uh, looking to me. Even the rib tips. Yeah, you guys too. Ooh. There's that. And two more rackies. Okay, I think we're looking at about three hours total, so we definitely want to rotate. And just see how the bark's looking on all these. But yeah, mustard really looks good. Sriracha doesn't look bad at all. Get those guys in for a little bit of a 
snap, and then these uh, these rip tips I think look really nice. Nothing at all looks really good too. So I mean, it, these are all. Again, this is not a not a loser in this bunch here. We're not going to wrap them just yet with that many ribs in the uh, cooker. It's slowed down the cooking just a bit. So I want to give it at least 30 more minutes before we think about giving these a full wrap. Okay, that rain's coming back on us again. Uh, we're looking at about three and a half. I know they need to be spritzed, but I'm thinking they might need to be wrapped, gang. You can see what I'm saying here. Bring in for the real thing. Hey now, I like the looks of these. That's how two's doing. Let's see how the middle child is living. This is our control rack and it looks great. It's got some good pullback. The uh, rip tip just hanging. I want to say we're going to cut those up, throw them in a pot of beans and just be happy about life. Oh yeah, look at the bark here on mustard. I think it's between mustard and sriracha for uh, the real texture and color and like how it's set in. I, I fancy that sriracha. Well, you, you already know I fancy that sriracha. Okay. I'm gonna rotate these grates while I got her open. Possibly one of the better features of the Dynaglow is these uh, racks that you can just slide in and out and put at your appropriate desired height and what I've been doing basically every 30 minutes is dropping these two and bringing the lowest run to the top. We're about to get dumped on with some rain so in the next uh, 20 minutes I'm going to systematically wrap each and every one of those and toss those rib tips and some beans and get out of this water. Really nice bark on that. All right, mustard. You already knew mustard was a winner. Just the one. So one toothpick is oil. Pretty nice. Very big fan of that. That's Worcester. I mean the Worcester, boy. Just for reference, this is the control batch nothing on the binder at all and boy if it doesn't look pretty it is raining again for what seems like the third time in just this day Aha. that's rain man all right, let's see what we're dealing with here. This is mustard. I'll go ahead and leave those toothpicks in. A deuce means it's uh, Worcester. The control batch, y'all. You, you know it's sriracha, this is the four, yep. There's two kinds of people in this world. People that slice their ribs from behind and those maniacs that slice them from up on top. Couldn't be me, bro. All right, control's looking pretty doggone good. Speaking of which, let's go. That's how Dinah does it. Mm. Four toothpicks is sriracha, and sriracha is really our go-to, and have a look at this rack gang. I mean, just flopping all which way. Uh, we had them everywhere we wanted them. Hmm. Oh yeah. I really like this one. Good pullback. Got a really 
pretty smoke ring on there. Both sides and moisture just wants to fall right off. Yeah, but look at all that. Here's sriracha. Three mustard. The receipts, gentlemen. The receipts. And look at that. I think all these racks, really, I think we did okay. We remembered how to cook ribs just for tonight's cook. Very nice looking. Good smoke ring. The crust really did get set with that. Boy, is that a good eating rib though. Mm hmm. All right. Let's give Worcestershire a try. got a nice peppery aroma coming off of it. Mm. There's Worcester sauce. I'm just tasting pork here. One left means avocado oil. This one I'm particularly interested in. Um, since I've been using avocado oil on a lot of these, it appears to have set the crust nicely. Avocado oil. I don't know how, but it may have gotten the most wicked smoke ring. I gotta say for my money, my favorite binder is still sriracha. It adds a little extra kick and there is extra flavor there. I don't care who you are, you know you can taste it. I will have to give a shout out to uh, Worcestershire sauce. Close second there. The rub tacked up nicely to it. The pork shined through on it. Um, I put mustard, uh, maybe tied, uh, maybe they're 2A, 2B. Uh, mustard's up there. For fourth place, I'm gonna have to give it to the control group, nothing at all. Pork is coming through more than anything. And then last, I'm just gonna have to say avocado oil. Maybe it's that batch didn't cook up as well and a good half of the rub did not adhere uh, to the meat side. Maybe I have some biases coming through, but the only flavor difference I noticed of any of the binders was sriracha for certain. Then I'd say the top three are very similar on crust. I will give a shout out to mustard. Seemed like it set the quickest of any of them and it was in the middle of the rack. Uh, close second would have been nothing at all, the control group. It seemed like the sriracha did take longer, but once it set, it was in. Uh, even when I flipped it over on the cutting board, not much of that crust came off. Coming away, an even bigger fan of sriracha, because you know we like it spicy. Battle of the Binders will take it to the streets. Thanks for watching this Battle of the Binders. If you want more cooks like this or other barbecue experiments from my backyard, ring that notification bell. Click subscribe, join my tribe, hang with my gang, and get to cooking with us. Man, it's got to flow better than that, homie. Dinah getting hot was. If you want more barbecue experiments from my backyard, ring that notification bell, hit subscribe, and be somebody, mother. <laughs> I ate so many ribs just now, I thought I was gonna pop.